Hi guys, Paul Pluto on the Paul Pluto channel. And today I'm doing a paid review. This is for Gary in New York City. Hello, Mr. Chesterfield. Love your channel. Been watching for years. Finally getting around to sending you an email slash donation for a video review. I'm attaching a photo of my collection and I'll go through them left to right, top to bottom. I think you'll find it interesting and or despicable due to the fact that there are watches that cost over 15000 and a couple of plastic swatches. Okay, first, a few gold dress watches. 1940s Longines 14 carat white gold manual wind. 1960s Longines 14 carat gold mystery dial automatic. 1960s Amiga 18 carat gold century rare model manual wind. 1970s La Coltra 14K Gold Power Reserve Bumper Automatic. I've collected these as I think they were beautiful and those old movements are just stunning. Don't wear them often, but I love them. My everyday watch, a 2000s Omega Speedmaster Triple Date Automatic. I know it's not the classic and much more collectible moon watch but I like the 40 mil size and having the triple date function for everyday use plus it is not too valuable or fragile you know how I feel about it I'm not gonna comment it's at least it's it's, it's an Amiga my two fuck off watches as you say wow drum roll Audemars Piguet 15400 Royal Oak Steel Wow! That hurt. Audemars Piguet 15706 Royal Oak Offshore Carbon. Ooh, expensive. Both purchased pre-owned from an AP authorized store in Connecticut. I fell in love with the Royal Oaks when I almost purchased a 15300 steel, still my preference, and regretted not buying it. I wear these mostly in situation where others are wearing high-end watches. And the Offshore is my only water-resistant watch, so I wear it while swimming. Ooh, I don't know if I'd do that. I, with AP? No, don't take it in water, please. And you're going to love this. A Swatch System 51 Cream, Swatch System 51 Black. I don't know if you know about these watches, uh, these models, but they are 90-hour power reserve automatics. Interesting, $150 pieces. I purchased for extreme casual situations and because, frankly, I think they were kind of cool. From top to right are just some silver and leather bracelets I sometimes wear with the watches. Let me know what you think, Arch. The pieces I'm very interested in now are the Jager Le Coultre Master Compressor Chronograph, the Rolex Milgauss or Rolex Explorer 2 15570. Polar, yes, yes, I do love the Polar. Thank you very much. Okay, look forward to hearing from you, seeing the video. Cheers, Gary. Well, Gary, thank you so much for that interesting review. So let's let's have a look here. So you've got some vintage stuff. It's I think it's nice to have some vintage. I don't have any vintage because I sold it all off cheap and I can't bear the pain of paying to get it back. You've got a long jeans 14k white gold manual wine. Yeah, that's cool. You've got a 1960s long jeans. Um, that's cool. Mystery dial. 1960s Amiga 18k century. Cool. 1970s La Coltra 14k power. Gold power. Yep, yeah, that's, that's, those are cool decent watches. Um, the Le Coultres, uh, they're not quite as good as Jager Le Coultres, just remember that. But they're still cool, still cool, vintage cool pieces. You got an Amiga Speedmaster Triple Date? Uh, replace it, get get the Moonwatch, come on, come on, work with me, not against me. I can give you some brutal truth because you're rich, okay? Anyone who's got two APs, and I'm not talking shitty 33 mil APs, I mean decent APs, they can hear the fucking truth. Okay, so get rid of that fucking Omega and get yourself a Moonwatch. Uh, two APs. 
Wow, 15400. I quite like the 15400. Do I prefer the 15300 or the fi I think the 15400 is I think it's probably if I had a choice. I like the 15400, a little bit bigger. I think it's fine. 39 mil on the 15300. I'd probably get the bigger one. I'm I'm getting used to bigger watches. I've got the um I've got the IWC Ingenua, I've got the Tudor Black Bay, it's 41, i got a, you know, I'm starting to warm into bigger things, slightly bigger. Um, and you've got another Royal Oak Offshore Carbon, far out, they're expensive, we don't, you know, those are amazing pieces. I mean, that's what AP is, amazing overpriced pieces. I'm being sarcastic. They're, they're, they're cool, they're very cool, they're very cool, that's two grails um, I think what you need to do if I were you I would try and fix up some of the shitters let's be honest there I can be honest with you because you've got money the SWAT system 51s I don't know why the fuck you even wasted time mentioning it they're garbage 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 that's what poor people buy so they don't rob your house and steal your APs that's the only reason I even entertain that garbage when you're rich and successful like you, you don't need to mention this crap because we know we're in the alumni and we know the truth. Um, I would seriously say, now you're saying that you're really, you're very interested in the JLC Master Compressor Chronograph. Yes, beautiful watch. Uh, I'm very interested now, the pieces I am very interested now, oh, okay, you're looking at those. I, I reckon the... Um, the Milgauss is cool, the Master Compressor Chronograph is cool, and the Explorer 2 is very cool. I reckon for you, don't take your Royal Oak in the water anymore. That is a dumb idea. You will learn about AP repair costs the hard way. Don't fucking do it. I don't care if it's a Royal Oak offshore diver. You do not take that son of a bitch in the water, okay? I'd get the, I reckon the Explorer, get a nice Explorer 2 is a beautiful piece. All the Milgauss, they're a great piece. I reckon you need to add some, some lower end luxury filler. So I would say to you, get rid of that fucking Amiga you've got there. Get the, get rid of that fucking thing. You need the fucking Moonwatch. You know the rules, manual wind and house are like glass. You're rich. I can tell you the brutal truth because you have two fuck off APs. So get rid of that fucking Amiga and get yourself an Amiga Speedmaster man on the fucking moon. Joma Shop selling them cheap. Just make sure Joma Shop gives you papers and the big box. I know a few people who got sort of stiffed on the boxes, so make sure they don't fuck you over. Uh, as far as the, um, the other pieces you're looking at, so replace that Amiga, that's number one, then I would get, I'd get the Explorer 2. That is a cool watch. That is a cool everyday watch. You don't need this fucking... Get rid of those swatches. I don't. You give them to your nephews or nieces at a Christmas party. That's the sort of garbage that is. Okay, so just do that, uh, Gary. Uh, yeah, well done. Beautiful collection. Two APs. Fuck me dead. Two fucking beautiful APs. I don't know what to say. What can I say about two fuck off APs? Uh, amazing. And these are proper APs. These are not fucking 33 mil fucking girl watches. These are fuck off. A the only AP to get is the Royal Oak. Look, look behind me. The Royal Oak book. It's the only model in, in AP to get. Everything else is fucking bullshit. Everything else is fucking bullshit. So, um, <coughs> guys, there you go. Uh, I'm Archibald Chesterfield III. Tell me what you guys, tell me what you guys think of that. Like, subscribe, and tell your fuckhead friends. Cut! Hi, guys. A fan of mine has been inspired to start a wristwatch series of his own. Bitter Poet madman that's the name of his channel and the show is called it's complicated that's right it's complicated it looks like 
He has some nice examples. I saw he has a Rolex. Rolex! He recently just got an Omega. He talks watch accessories, does reviews, unboxings, and talks about new and pre-owned wristwatches. Again, the channel name is Bitter Poet Madman. Bitter Poet Madman. So why don't you fuckers let that fucker know what you think of that. Bitter Poet Madman channel. Hey yo, I'm Bitter Poet Madman, the host of It's Complicated, a wristwatch series. We talk about luxury watches. We talk about affordable watches. We're gonna review those watches. We're gonna talk about the watch market in general. I'm gonna tell you how to get good bargains. I'm gonna show you how to find good watches used. I'm gonna show you how to find affordable watches new and how to save money on that grail piece that you're looking at. Okay. Hi guys, Archie Luxury, Archie Luxury Channel, Paul Pluto Channel, and my good friend Tan Zillin. Tan Zillin. Answering super chats, it's not about the money. It's not about the money. I feel like I'm doing my passion. Tan Zillin, simply the best. And uh, he's got another one for you here. How's this? Uh, it's uh, not about the money. It's not about the money. It's uh, my passion. Shakling on time. Simply the best. Now, guys, I got to tell you, I struggle to survive full time on YouTube. Please look in the description below for 10 ways you can keep me full time on YouTube. Guys, I really need your help. Please consider getting a paid, paid video review. I'll do a review on any watch, any question you want. Guys, you can sponsor me on Patreon. You can sponsor me for as little as a dollar a month. A dollar a month. And that just keeps me going on full time on YouTube. Guys, you could also, I do phone calls. Phone calls. You can talk to me for an hour on the phone, Skype or WhatsApp, for 50 US dollars. Guys, I really do need your help to stay full time. Ben cannot survive on Google Ads alone. Please help me. Please help me stay full time on YouTube. And guys, don't forget that. It's a not about the money. It's a my passion. Shakling on time. Simply the best. Tanzillin, thank you. That's a sponsored bit from Tanzillin. I can do that for $150 a month if you email me directly. Look below for my email address, guys. Yeah.